Alright guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to try another sunray. Uh, this one is called a solar flare sunray. This is a red tube where you can use fluorescent red, whatever. And I have it lined, it's a plastic tube, but I have it lined here to within about 8mm of the back. Uh, with a simple black liner. So, I'm starting off with a red thread. Uh, but all I'm going to do with this is essentially to tie in the silver wire rib. So I'll tie that in, fold it back, and then a couple of turns to whip finish that. And then we will go to the front of the tube and attach our black tying thread. Reason for that is because again I'm going to use a pearl tinsel and I want the colour of the tube to transmit through the pearl. So I'm going to tie that in at the front. A couple of turns, fold it back on itself. And then I am for durability going to varnish clear varnish the tube and then we will wrap our pearl tinsel back. Now it's quite a bit of varnish on there and you may or may not be able to see but the, the varnish is actually sort of sneaking through the uh, turns and I'm actually not attempting get touching turns here because I want that varnish coming through because as I come forward on my second row I want that varnish that's peeking through to glue down my second layer of tinsel. What we now have is a red pearl coming through there. So I'm going to wrap my uh, wire on to create a butt, a few turns, and now you notice I'm wrapping in the opposite direction to my tinsel. Therefore, the wraps are going across and therefore securing them down. Now the reason for using tinsel over uh, oval wire, sorry over oval, is that it seems to bed in and, and tighten down on uh, tinsel bodies or mylar bodies better than normal uh, normal oval. So body tied supporting wing or under wing, we're going to use a bright yellow bucktail. Take a bunch of that, grab the longest fibres, pull the shorter ones out a little bit, line them up. Get rid of those. So we have a lined but not tamped uh, bunch and I'm going to put that on so that it will be a little bit further than where the hook would extend to and therefore support the wing up away from the hook. Trim that off to length, place it up tight to the back of the flange and then tie it down. Then what I'm going to do is a little bit of varnish, push this down flat across the top and that will create a sort of delta wing effect across the top. You can see it's splaying out in a V, and that should just help support our other wings, keep them away from the hook tangling. So, next, uh, I'm going to take a yellow crystal here. Uh, for the flash, and the reason I like that in here is because crystal hair is probably quite slightly stiffer than some of the other flashes. So we can put it in here, and it 
will support itself a little bit in conjunction with the uh, bucktail and make it less likely to tangle. Right, next portion of the wing I'm going to use this which is a Icelandic sheep or naat. I don't think they're the same thing. But who knows? This one is dyed in a hot orange, red, red orange. I'm going to take a bunch of that, give it a little bit of a brushing out. And I'm going to put that in to be maybe 10 20 mil longer than the uh, supporting one. Trim it to length. One wrap on, a little bit of varnish or super glue, whatever you want. Varnish will give you more playing time, uh, but obviously it's as secure as super glue. But uh, super glue, if you're not used to it, can build you a thick head very quickly. We'll just fold it out. Next, what I'm going to put in is a bit of Mirage. I'm going to use a red, orange, mirage crinkle. Uh, you could always use a mirage crystal here if you want. Lay that on top two strands, out as far as the tip of our midwing here. Fold it back. Trip that off, and now there are four strands running across the back. Okay, so top wing, uh, black goat. This is a cashmere goat. Uh, and the amount you can vary yourself, depending on whether you like a blacker fly or a very bright fly. Uh, and as we're not using the full length of the goat here, what we can do is grab the tip, pull out the shorter fibers, and then sort of realign them up to that. Set that out for length, up to yourself. Um, here we are talking about 100 mil, which seems to be a kind of standard preferred sun ray length. Right? Trim that for length, good square end. And then I am going to take my super glue. Because goat does not compress. Put a little blade of super glue right in the end there. Measure it up across the top so that it is directly on top. And then bind that down before that dries. You can see, so I suppose in a way this is Willy Gunnish colours. Brush that into it. And then we take a peacock eye and I'm going to look for maybe three, four fibers there. And what you find with peacock is that you get this curve and then a recurve going up. Where these tips are pointing up, you want those to be pointing up. Uh, if you put it in this way, it'll tend to kick up and not sit as well. Uh, lengthwise, not the full length of the wing, 90% probably, and then the uh, stronger hairs will support and protect your peacock. Set that in on top. Tie it down. Trim that off. And then some jungle cock eyes. Again I tend to tie these in kind of shortish on uh, sunray type flies. Take one from each side, 
measure them up for tips peel back the bits I don't want to use and then lay one up on this side, hold it with my thumb measure the other one up on the other side, flip it down with my finger turn across to hold them in place and then reposition once I'm happy with it, grab it tie them in and for extra security you can fold the tie-in ends back and then trim them off and that is the fly finish, just the head so super glue or varnish here here I'm using varnish and I'll varnish what, 10 centimeters or so, you can see these little blebs of varnish on my tying thread so then as I wrap that on it'll create a sort of blob of varnish to tie into finish, I use my hands, you can use a whip tool, you can use whatever you want whatever you're used to That is our fly tied. So as you can see we have our sort of delta-ish shape with the bucktail sticking out the sides. Look at it from underneath probably where the fish is going to be coming from. We've got this red pearl glue and then that'll accentuate with the colours above it. to finish that so we'll put a coat of clear varnish on that and then see how it goes it'll get more coats of varnish until it's finished but that's our solar flare sunray uh, and as per usual if you like what you see uh, like and subscribe with the button that should be appearing shortly uh, tell your friends the more the merrier and until next time uh, tight lines and thanks for watching